Good morning from MT Trevi Fountain. Have you ever been to Trevi Fountain this empty? I guess no. Like if you want to see it empty, just come here at sunrise basically. That's the only time of the day where you can see it that empty. Not even at night, not even at 3 a.m. at night. There will always be people and still there are already a couple of people as you can probably tell. And there's been a proposal in front of the Trevi Fountain, which is pretty damn romantic, I have to say. But yeah, we're now moving on to Piazza di Spagna because we want to see it all nice and full of flowers. And today I'm here with this crazy foolish friend of mine who decided to follow me today in this crazy picture adventure and my mom. So yeah, today you're following me along too. I don't know how these flowers are called in English. In Italian they are azalea and they are white and this beautiful bright neon pink. Hi. I was saying that these flowers are beautiful bright pink neon pink azalea and they are all the way down on the Spanish steps. And this is the Barcaccia fountain. We took a couple of pictures with this beauty over here oh. <laughs> and let's hope they turned out good. We'll see in post. But now we're trying to like kind of change the shot so we have more to choose from. This is the view of the flowers from above. And we have some more here too, up to this balcony. It's worth a visit this time of the year. Back at the fountain, what, what time does it take? 7.30 and I mean it's not full of people obviously. <laughs> I know how it is when it's full of people, like people um, get to here, this very point and the crowd is like insane. In fact, it's one of the spots you should be a little bit more careful on when you have like stuff on yourself in your pockets because pickpocketing is so easy in this part because as I said, like people, it's just packed. So there's people everywhere. And yeah, but 7.30 and there are already a good like 50 people. I love these trousers so much. But, even though I love the shoes too, they were probably not the best option for walking that much. Because my feet are starting to hurt. And as I told you guys in my um, what not to wear in Rome video, <coughs> I suggested you not to wear high heels. That's the reason. This freaking pavement made of San Pietrini is so uncomfortable to walk, with, with, to walk on with high heels. <sighs> yeah. But gelateria, you might be happy to know, are already open. Some of them are open, like, I think not, not all night long, but um, probably they open very, uh, very early. So if you want to have breakfast with an ice cream, you definitely can. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is the 25th of April, which means that it's a celebration day, it's a holiday here in Italy because it's like the liberation from the Nazis. It's a uh, like no work, no school day, so. And we're going to Anzio today with a couple of friends. Have the boyfriend here driving and this one over here. As always. And I'm in the back seat this time. And guess what? I just got some strawberries. Because it's not spring without strawberries. I was thinking like we just arrived at the beach and we say in Italian scendere in spiaggia right scendiamo in spiaggia and this is probably because in some part of parts of Italy um, you literally need to climb down either some stairs or cliffs or something to reach the beach see like this is the stairs that we climb to get to the beach No, we all, we pretty much all mistaken like the clothing because it's so freaking hot and we wasn't expecting it. So we're all like pretty much dressed up and hello beautiful people. Everybody else is like wearing a swimsuit obviously because it's freaking hot. And yeah, and my friend 
over there, like just bought a pair of shorts, and pretty much we're like, I don't know, we're like 10 people, and nobody brought a freaking like umbrella, you know, like the sun umbrellas. Yeah, we're we're so unorganized. Looks like I'm not the only one who enjoys strawberries. I'm wondering what we do when we go to the beach. This is one of our activities. Guys, these are the so-called Neroni, or Neroni, if you want to say it in English, caves. So basically Nerone, at this villa, is mentioned on the top of this case, where my pot, like here. And yeah, and this is the beach, so basically the beach is like under the cave. And earlier, but unfortunately, I didn't bring my camera earlier. We went in the caves, like inside the caves, because you can get there, even though it's like a little bit of a cliff walk. Yeah, here you have some more. So it's not an easy access, but you can get there. But yeah, I love this place and I come here every summer and I often suggest tourists to, like when you come to Rome, you should definitely pay a visit here if you like the beach and the sea and historical stuff because this place is packed with history. So transparent, like in the morning, um, it's usually that transparent, but in the afternoon, usually like it gets more dark because of the sun, which is moving constantly because of the waves, and then it gets a bit more dark. We left the beach and we got an ice cream, but I didn't film it because I forgot. And come non capisci? E qui nel English lessons 101. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, we were like talking with our friends and we were saying like we're saying that like us Italians when we speak when we talk about pizza places and gelaterie, okay, so pizzerie and gelaterie, everyone has obviously their favorite and every every time like somebody says that oh that pizzeria is so good, there is like always another friend, another person that says no to me that's one that one's not that good. My favorite is that other one. And then another friend goes like no that's not very good. You know what? Which one is very good? That other one and so on and like yeah we sometimes fight for that. The worst fights over gelaterie and pizzerie. Mm -hmm. So you understand my struggle when you guys ask me what is your favorite pizza place? Where should I go to get my pizza? Like true Italian pizza? Guys, <laughs> that's completely up to the person. Like it's so um, subjective, I think you say. <laughs> so yeah. And I'm back home. Hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. And I don't know, like I like to show you not only Rome but what's surrounding Rome. Because I feel like there are lots of vlogs in Rome but not so many people talk about and show what like the surrounding areas and the surrounding cities or towns look like so i hope you enjoy seeing this too leave a like if you enjoyed this video see you guys very soon in my next video ciao